I've never seen so much secrecy around an independent counsel or a special counsel operation like this. I've never seen it. I've been doing this work for 20 years. And along those lines, we just had to sue again this Justice Department over some basic information about the scandal. A scan the scandal is in Stormy Daniels. The scandal is in Trump-Russia collusion. The scandal is the misuse and abuse of federal government agencies and law enforcement to target the Trump campaign and now President Trump. That is the scandal. And it involves Barack Obama. It involves his top cabinet officials at the national security law enforcement level. And frankly, there's some complicity now with even appointees of President Trump over at the Justice Department. And specifically, it relates to the FISA court process. Remember, they used the Clinton DNC dossier to get a surveillance warrant on Carter Page, who was a recent Trump organizer or Trump volunteer. It was a backdoor way of getting it to Trump. And the conclusion of those who have looked at this, Devin Nunes' memo, the full committee report, is that no dossier, no warrant. They didn't tell the court it came from the Clinton DNC crowd. They didn't tell the court that Christopher Steele was persona non grata at the FBI, he had been let go, which is outrageous enough that they were even using him as a source, this Clinton vendor. And you can bet they didn't tell the court that then the number four official at the Justice Department, Bruce Orr's wife, was working for Fusion GPS, the very group that was behind this dossier. So Devin Nunes, the head of the Intelligence Committee, has asked for the FISA court transcripts of hearings where this might have taken place, where these discussions took place. And the chief judge for the FISA court, Judge Rosemary Collier, Collier, I think it's how it's pronounced, he, she wrote back, she says, look, if you want them, ask the Justice Department. They have the transcripts and they have full authority to release them if they want. And of course, the Justice Department isn't going to turn them over to, to Congress. We ask those for those transcripts under the Freedom of Information Act, and we were told we can't get them. Well, actually, they just ignored us, I think. Let me see how they responded. Yeah, they ignored us completely ignored us. Sometimes we ask them, and they say you can't have them for reason X, Y, and Z. Other times they just ignore us. This is the Justice Department, which is supposed to follow the FOIA law. They ignore it all the time. And it's gotten worse since President Trump, for, since uh, under the Trump administration. And that's something that Jeff Sessions needs to be held accountable for, because this transparency is a disaster at the Justice Department. So we're suing in court to find out about how the Clinton DNC dossier was abused and misused to gain this illicit FISA warrant, because it is illicit. If it was gotten in bad faith, look, the same crowd that is targeting Manafort, a federal judge, has said, maybe you're doing this in bad faith. Boy, maybe the FISA warrants were done in bad faith as well. That's why we want the court transcripts. And it's shameful that this Justice Department isn't turning them over and that we have to fight for them. And this follows up. We've already done dossier lawsuits for the underlying dossier, um, excuse me, FISA applications, the written records that were submitted to the court. But you know, that doesn't tell you everything. So that's why we ask for the transcripts. Because the FISA court is, is I've never been involved in it. But based, from, based on my understanding and from folks who have been involved in it, it's, it's a much more, it's less formal than you might think. There's a lot of give and take between the court and the prosecutors. And because the court is only hearing from one side. It's a secret court proceeding in the sense it's not public. They discuss classified matters. So the court is constantly going back and forth with prosecutors in a way that doesn't necessarily always happen in regular federal court proceedings. 
That's why it's important to get the transcripts. Because the court process breaks down if, uh, if we can't rely on the Justice Department and the FBI to tell the truth to the FISA court. Because that process is done in secret. And we've got to rely on the FISA court to be honest and those talking to the FISA court to be honest. And if we can't trust either one of those entities, the warrants that are issued from there, that process, are suspect. And it's essential we do that, or we have that confidence, and they reassure us that things were done properly by releasing information when questions like this arise so people can have confidence in the fair administration of justice. So that secret surveillance isn't done improperly. I mean, I know you mostly agree with me on this. Why, why is this a question for the Justice Department? Why is it? I don't understand it. Well, I do understand it. You know why? Because Mueller is using the dossier and they don't want to release information that would harm his investigation or expose it for the mess it is.